Hello mortals. You might be thinking, why I am here again. Ishan requested me to narrate in the next few videos but he gave no satisfactory reason for that. But don't worry, he will be back soon. Now let's come back to business. Hilbert's second problem. This is a portion of David Hilbert's speech where we get to know about the problem. Prove that, arithmetic is consistent. Now what is meant by consistent? It basically says that the set of axioms present in the arithmetic, do not lead to contradictory results or paradoxes. Now this problem doesn't refer systems like the Peano arithmetic, as it is considered to be a weak system. Instead, we should try to prove that the stronger systems are consistent. As by proving them, we can also prove the weaker ones. Now the fact that Peano arithmetic is consistent is already proved by Zermelo Frankel set theory. But if someone can doubt that Peano arithmetic is inconsistent, then why can't they do the same for the Zermelo Frankel set theory? That's exactly why the problem is significant. But there is something else too. Gödel's incompleteness theorem, which states that a system of arithmetic can't be proven consistent within the system itself or by assuming that the axioms of the arithmetic are true. So it clearly can be understood that the consistency of Peano arithmetic can't be proven within itself or from some weaker systems. Now here comes a twist in the plot. The mathematician Jensen proved that Peano arithmetic is consistent from the weaker system. Although these works were understood well, we are still not sure whether these works answer the problem or not.